What is happening, Magnus Sykes? So, one thing that a bunch of us have all been saying, it really don't matter what the family says, what the friends say, what the news says. I want to hear the man speak. So, finally, he's coming out. This is almost three minutes long, and uh, he's addressing the public. Just from looking at the thumbnail, he doesn't look that healthy. Um, so, hopefully, he's in, still in the process of recovering and he'll make a full recovery because I've definitely seen him look much healthier than this. So uh, let's check this out right now. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages. Mm -hmm. I cannot even begin to tell you um, uh, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. Um, uh, I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates. But to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, That's I what I was saying. Time, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with twos. Uh, Running out of me. That's exactly what I was telling y'all. Uh, One of the reasons might be he didn't want you to see him like that. If I was going to make it through. And to be honest with you, my uh, my sister, Deidre Dixon, my daughter, Corinne Marie, saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. I cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way and, and y'all know they kept it airtight they didn't let nothing out they protected me and that's what I hope that everyone could have in moments like these uh, now you know by being quiet sometimes things you know get out of hand people saying what I got some people said I was I was blind but as you can see uh, <laughs> as you can see the eyes are working eyes are working just fine uh, said I was paralyzed I'm not paralyzed uh, but I did go through, I went to hell and back, mm -hmm. and my road to recovery uh, had some potholes as well, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm coming back, and uh, I'm able to work, so I want to thank uh, uh, the people that let me work, um, and I just want to like say I, that, I, that I, I love everybody, and I love all of the love that I got, and man, you know, I know they talk about people crying on videos. You know, you can do take two, but I'm not going to do a take two. This, it is what it is. And if you see me out uh, from now on and every once in a while, I just burst into tears. is because um, it's been tough, man. I was sick, man. But now I got my legs out, uh, under me, so you're going to see me out. Uh, but like I said, I just want you to remember me for uh, the jokes that I cracked. Movies that I make, some of them good, some of them may. I think I got a good one out. Uh, and the songs that I sing, man. And then, you know, I'm a clone. Well, check this out. Just kidding. Uh, I'm not clone, man, but I'm here on earth because of some great people. I'm here on earth because of God, man. So I love all y'all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that uh, I'm on my way back. Cool, cool. So hopefully I edited that right because the first download I had was from Twitter. That wasn't the full video. I went to Instagram, got the rest of it. Hopefully I was able to match that up properly. But anyway, so um, yeah, you know, looking at him, he looks frail. Um, I don't know if it's the lighting or not, but he looks pale. Uh, could be the lighting. It looked like it was kind of bright in there. Um, and I've noticed this. Listen, when people are going through a massive amounts of stress, they lose their eyebrows. That's one of the things you lose. You lose hair from your eyebrows. You also lose hair, for some reason, from the middle of the bottom of your legs, around your calves. You'll lose hair from around there. Uh, something happened to me um, a couple years ago. And when it happened, 
I didn't realize it until later. It stressed me out. I didn't know that I was stressed that much. I thought I handled it well. I went to see my doctor and um, the day or two before I noticed like half of my eyebrow fell out. Can't remember which eyebrow it was. It fell out. I was like, I asked Carlo. I'm like, yo, what? And she, she was like, yeah. She was like, that wasn't like that. That's my doctor. He was like, what happened to you? You stressful. Did something stressful happen to you recently? And then I thought about it and I told him. He was like, he said, yeah, that happens. You'll see sometimes people will lose patches of their hair on their head and stuff like that and stuff. So, yeah. So he definitely appears to have went through some physical stress. I don't know if he always had a full goatee or not, but half of his goatee is gone too. Did you see that? So the man's going through some stuff. So he is lucky to be alive. It's good to see that he's still cracking jokes, that he can crack jokes in a serious situation like this. That's good that he can do that. So, you know, uh, I'll come back healthy, sir. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'll come back bigger and better. 10 million subscribers. Whoa.